Is the world ready for another COVID-19 variant? Have you heard about the Omicron JN1 variant? A new challenge has emerged that's been the talk of the globe. This time it's the Omicron JN1 variant, a recently discovered strain of the virus that has sparked a renewed wave of concern. But what exactly is a variant? In the context of COVID-19, a variant is a version of the virus that has undergone changes or mutations. These changes can influence how the virus behaves. It might become more contagious or cause more severe illness, or it could even have the potential to evade the immunity we've built up from vaccination or previous infection. That's why it's crucial to keep a close eye on these variants, to adapt our response, and stay one step ahead of the virus. The Omicron JN1 variant in particular has raised eyebrows around the world. It's a reminder that this pandemic isn't over yet, and that we need to remain vigilant. As we delve deeper, understanding the Omicron JN1 variant becomes a matter of global importance. How does the Omicron JN1 variant infect humans and what are its symptoms? Let's dive into the details. The Omicron JN1 variant, like its predecessors, primarily uses respiratory droplets to spread from person to person. However, it's believed to be more transmissible, potentially due to changes in its spike protein, which is the part of the virus that latches onto human cells. Now, let's talk symptoms. Many people infected with the Omicron JN1 variant report similar symptoms to previous variants such as fever, cough, and loss of taste or smell. However, there have been some reports of unique symptoms including unusual fatigue and body aches. Keep in mind, symptoms can vary greatly among individuals, and some may not experience any symptoms at all, making it even more critical to stay vigilant. Understanding the infectivity and symptoms of Omicron JN one helps us grasp the challenges we face with this new variant. But, knowledge is only half the battle. Infectivity and symptoms give us insight into the nature of the Omicron JN, one variant. But how can we protect ourselves against it? Let's explore this in the next scene. What steps can we take to safeguard ourselves and our community against the Omicron JN1 variant? As we navigate through this ongoing pandemic, there are several key preventive measures we can all adopt. Firstly, getting vaccinated. Vaccines have proven to be our best defense, significantly reducing the severity of symptoms and the risk of hospitalization. Next, mask wearing. Masks serve as a simple barrier to help prevent respiratory droplets from traveling into the air and onto other people when the person wearing the mask coughs, sneezes, talks, or raises their voice. Social distancing is another critical measure. By keeping a safe distance from others, particularly in crowded or enclosed spaces, we can reduce the chances of coming into contact with the virus. Lastly, maintaining good hand hygiene. Washing hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, or using hand sanitizer when soap isn't available, can help keep the virus at bay. It's important to remember that these measures are not standalone solutions, but work most effectively when combined. They serve as layers of protection that, when added together, minimize our risk of infection and help protect those around us. Prevention is our strongest weapon against the Omicron JN1 variant. So, what have we learned about the Omicron JN1 variant? We've unearthed that this variant, like its predecessors, is highly infectious. It spreads rapidly among people, making it a significant public health concern. The symptoms, while similar to previous variants, may range from mild to severe, and it's crucial to get tested if you're feeling under the weather. We've also discovered that prevention is key. Hand hygiene, wearing masks, maintaining social distancing, and getting vaccinated are all crucial steps in keeping this variant at bay. It's not just about protecting yourself but also those around you. Moreover, we've highlighted the importance of precautions. If you're feeling unwell, seek medical attention right away. Don't hesitate to get tested and isolate yourself to prevent the spread. Remember, early detection can make a world of difference. We've come a long way in our fight against COVID-19, but the emergence of Omicron JN1 reminds us that we must remain vigilant. We must continue to adhere to preventive measures and stay informed about the latest developments. Staying informed and prepared is our best defense against the Omicron JN1 variant and any future variants that may arise.